Now we're going to go into this New York Ponzi scheme. Here we go. A boom. All right. Man sentenced for nationwide Ponzi scheme in Rochester, New York. I live in New Jersey now, so I'm not. Well, I'm in St. Louis with the family right now uh, for Christmas, but um, I live in New Jersey, so I'm not too far from out that way. Um, but OK, so here we go. A man convicted of defrauding hundreds of investors out of millions of dollars in a nationwide Ponzi scheme that's been called the largest ever in Western New York has been sentenced to 20 years in federal prison. So what did they do? Prosecutors said Christopher Paris and Perry Santillo pitched invest investment opportunities to victims, bilking close to 1000 investors out of at least one hundred and fifteen and a half million dollars. Authorities said it began in 2008 and ran through. 2017. Oh, look at that. There's some cute slippers right there. Some really cute baby slippers. I like those. <laughs> the remainder of the money was used to finance lavish lifestyles of the defense. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so it was a Ponzi scheme because, again, they just used the new funds to pay off old investors until it collapsed. That's how Ponzi schemes always collapse. The remainder of the money was used to finance lavish lifestyles of the defendants and others to expand the scheme by purchasing additional investment advisor brokerage businesses so they can maintain new investors and to pay operating expenses and salaries of the businesses that they had purchased. So again, they ran this scheme for almost 10 years and um, they have been arrested and found. They built people out of $115 million. And again, I wanted to just kind of pull this up momentarily before I go into Sam Bankman Freed and FTX and Binance and stuff like that, because, uh, you know, Schemes are still happening in, in the financial markets outside of crypto. It still goes down. It still happens. 